Hi, in this video, we are going to, in this series of videos, we are going to be looking at some tips, some calculator tips to answering questions for your end of course STAR Algebra 1 exam. Okay, so the first type of questions you might come across as you're taking the test are just some square root examples where it's going to ask you to find the equivalent expression. Your calculator is very helpful for this. So in your Inspire calculator, um, if it tells you to press menu, you might start from the home screen and you'll just go one, a new document. If it asks you to save your document, you just say no, we never worry about saving it. And we do want to choose one for a calculator. All right, so I'm just going to see what the square root of 96 is. So my square root is right there in blue. So I'm going to hit the blue control button, the x squared that has the square root above it in blue, and you can see it gives me my square root symbol. I'm going to type in 96 and hit enter. Okay, when I do that, it's going to give me an answer of, I'm going to write it down, 9.79796. Okay, so then I'm going to go and see which one of these. I know obviously 48 is not going to give me 9.79796, um, but let's see which one of these three will. So if I do the square root, so again, control x squared of 32, notice that is not 9.7976, so that's not my answer. The next one, six square roots of four. So I'm going to hit the six first and then my square root of four. And that's 12, so that's not going to be correct. So it better be D, four square roots of six. Let's see. And yes, yes it is. That is going to be the same answer that I had there. So D is going to be my correct answer. Okay, let's look at another one. This next I have eight square roots of 27. So eight square root of 27 gives me 41. 0.5692. I know it's not going to be just plain old 24, but what about 24 square roots of 3? That is, oh, look, that's my answer. I don't have to look at the others. 24 square root of 3 and 8 square roots of 27 both give me the exact same answer. Okay, let's look at this number 3, square root of 216. When I do that, I get choose a different color for the third one. I get 14.6969. Let's see which one of these matches. I know it's not going to be my 108. 3 square root of 72 is not 14. 2 square root of 108 is not 14. 6 square root of 6, oops, I need to hit my 6 first, hold on, 6 square root of 6 gives me, there's my 14.6969, C is my correct answer, okay? Alright, in the next short video, we're going to look at some calculator tips for evaluating functions. If you have any questions, make sure you ask your teacher or your tutor. Thanks so much for watching.